we get to see some pretty cool stuff up here. But we had an incredible launch. Um, hopefully, you guys got to watch it this morning. Uh, as right as the sun was rising, we took off. Uh, we chased the sun pretty quickly and caught it up uh, just a few minutes after we took off. That was pretty special to see the sunlight coming in um, shortly after liftoff. Uh, we're going to show you around the vehicle real quick, uh, and hope you guys really enjoy it. And I'll pass it over to our pilot, Megan MacArthur. Hello, Earth. It's uh, great to be back in space again after a few years for me. Um, the ascent was incredible. The ride was really smooth. Uh, we couldn't have asked for anything better. Uh, there may have been some hooting and giggling up here uh, while all that was going on. We hope you enjoyed the show as well. Um, I'm, I'm kind of relearning. I'm like a baby bird here, relearning how to move around in uh, microgravity. It feels really good, but it feels a little bit weird, too. Fortunately, it's a nice small space that uh, I can relearn to move around together. I'm going to hand it over to uh, Toma, who's going to show you around a little bit of what I've got up here. Thanks, Megan. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm uh, Toma, Mission Special Hub, your tour guide today uh, in the Crew Dragon Endeavor capsule. Thanks for flying with us. Welcome on board. Uh, our commander, Shane Kibro, welcome your pilot, Megan McCarter, also. And uh, next will be Aki Hoshide. So, as you see, it's pretty roomy. The ride up was fantastic. This is the hatch behind this. Of space, harsh temperature, temperature, and bad environment, bad stuff. Inside, very comfy. We feel very well protected. Everything is great. Um, if you if you get closer, you can get a view out the window, and I'll try to give you that. If the cable is long enough, and this is what we get to see. Coming up on Madagascar, but it's cloudy. I don't think you get a good view. But we'll try to get pictures, and I can show you maybe. The cargo area down there, because uh, this vehicle is bringing people up to space, but also cargo. And if you follow me, and I'm going to flip and try not to make everybody sick, <laughs> down there is where we have a little cargo. There's free, there's uh, freezers. Uh, this is our suits, nicely packed. This is some more cargo. We have our, uh, our uh, water landing equipment. And this is all nice and tidy. And behind those walls are a lot of other equipment that we need, clothes, food, and etc. So with that, uh, now that you're familiar with the capsule, I'm going to hand you over to Aki Hikohoshide. Aki, for short, from JAXA, and he's going to give you some more information. Hello, Earthlings. Uh. <laughs> And it looks like we lost that live signal. As well, um, one thing, uh, this capsule looks just like our mock-up simulator in Hawthorne, except you can't do this because we're upside down. And this is actually the hatch that goes to the uh, International Space Station. And once we dock, uh, we're going to open this hatch and get on board and uh, see our friends uh, who are up there right now. Now we have a fifth crew member and uh, as uh, you can see Shin is holding him right now but he can actually fly. It's a penguin that uh, our boys uh, chose um, and uh, his name is Gwen Gwen. Gwen Gwen. Welcome Gwen Gwen to space. That was really cool seeing Gwen Gwen uh, start flying after we hit zero G. Um, tomorrow, Aki talked about we're going to dock to the International Space Station. Uh, it's going to be around 5 a.m. Eastern time in the U.S. Hope you guys can join us for that. But it's going to be great to on that forward port on the space station and, and join our friends there. Crew One is on board along with uh, Expedition 65, a couple Russians, and Mark Van der So uh, we're looking forward to joining that crew and having a, a big time up there with 11 people on board. Megan, any closing words? And I think we can just show folks kind of what our environment looks like up here, Shane. Uh, these are the displays that we use to monitor the spacecraft systems through all the different phases of flight. So we had uh, displays up, of course, during ascent, 
and then we'll have some uh, ability to monitor the docking sequence as well. All of the burns that will get us closer to the space station will eventually be able to see uh, different kinds of images of the space station on our screens as we get closer. And then, of course, uh, once we contact the space station, we'll monitor uh, the docking system mechanism uh, using these displays as well. So it's pretty neat uh, to see the touch screens and uh, all the different facilities that they have. We can bring up different um, systems pages while we're working uh, through the different activities. So those are something uh, something neat to see rather than the old-timey steam gauges. We have these pretty cool touch screens that we can use. One thing I'll add before we sign off is uh, Tama noticed a little while ago after we are getting out of our suits, uh, he looked out the window when he saw our second stage pretty much flying in formation with us just underneath us, and that was very special. So we all rushed to the window to look at that for a little while, so that was pretty cool. So uh, we're, we're enjoying our uh, first day on orbit, so we've got a lot more to go, and we're looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of our capsule. And uh, we'll be in a much bigger environment tomorrow once we dock with the International Space Station. Have a great day. Take care. So long from Endeavor. Well, thank you so much for sharing those views with us and giving us a glimpse into life on board dragging and uh, letting us meet Gwen Gwen. Thank you again.